to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Catches it. Tackle at the 40-yard line. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. He goes out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Ray two. Oregon. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at the 46. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. quick he's got another one about six yards on the play well he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch and they make the stop around the 32 yard line a bullet over the middle and he's tackled right around the 26 yard line he scrambled and he's taken down at the 14 yard line Tackles him hard at the four. Tenth play of the drive. Tackled after decent pickup. Bring him down behind the line. That's a loss of three yards. That makes it three yards. That's the fight, like seven. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. And he hits the PAT. A 12-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 7 nothing. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Utes, in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. Nice run there. A delay doesn't always work unless the ball carrier lets the play open in front of him. Of course, you need some good blocking, too, which they had here on this play. Motion, motion, motion. Check, check, check. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? From their own 34-yard line. 
It's second down. They go with him again, and he'll be taken down behind the line. But you can really mess with an offensive game plan if you can take away their ability to run. by the defense to know where the first down was and stop him short of. Booming kick. And down he goes at the 23. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. Here he goes. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. That brings us second in Oklahoma State up seven points. Got an opening. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and two. He's at the 40. Knocked out of bounds at about the 31. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. This guy's out of his stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. Second down and 14. Ball on the 35-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Flushed out, and he's going to get sacked. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. That'll when film study long. starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Man out, man out, man out, man out. Mike seven, They'll Mike line up with five seven. wide receivers. And he's level at the 15. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. Oklahoma State is up seven. Gives it left side. And down he goes at about the 17-yard line. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 17-yard line, it's second down. Black five, black five. Blue, 20. Motion, motion, motion. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. That's a loss of one yard on the play. That'll make it third and 13. We're through one quarter. Oklahoma State's lead is a touchdown. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Larry, Larry, Larry. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Watch the car. Green. Out to the receiver and it's knocked away. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Oklahoma State is hoping to make this a two-score game. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And a 
goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Quick pass. Well, the defense was completely out of position. I think the play action really opened things up that time. They completely bit up, thought the running back had the football, and the quarterback had a wide open receiver to make that throw downfield. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. So the option play gets him big yards right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find the hole and get through it. Throws and it's incomplete. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. From the 29-yard line, second down. Complete, he's got room, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Check the house out there. Four down, four down. Here we go, watch seven. Go! Again, he'll get the call. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Run and he's brought down. Call it a game of five yards. That makes it first and goal. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he adds the extra point. Utah gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oklahoma State has a three-point lead. Caught out in the open. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 45. Throw incomplete, one of his receiver. From their own 45 yard line, second down. Dog four, green eight, go. Steps out of bounds around the 48 yard line. That makes it 37. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He makes his way to about the 28. That makes it second and two. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Just 
throws this one away. From their own 40-yard line, second down. He hits him hard at the 37. Tackled for a loss. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. From the 42-yard line. It's second down. He's at the 30. They connect again. Tackle at about the 23-yard line. That makes it first and 10. They come out in an empty backfield. Nice play to stop first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Go, go! And it's 52! And 62! Straight ahead on the given, there's nowhere to run. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. It's second and goal. Ball on the nine. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires quickly and they got it, touchdown. Each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Utah ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Four down, four down. Check 31, check 31. Seven's the one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Motion. Blue, 20. Motion, motion, motion. Go! Oh, oh, oh. Brought down at the 31. That's a loss of three yards. On the That'll, That'll bring, bring up, up third and four. four. Seven. Mike. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yellow. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. the stop around the 11 yard line this guy's combination of speed and his hands make him lethal he can take a game over at any time so the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten and he's tackled at the eight yard line and the halfback carries for a pickup of three you have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game nice stop by the junior throws it in a hurry and he's taken down around the nine-yard line. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. Check, check. Yellow, three. Check, 
Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First down. Chance for three or seven here. First and goal inside the five. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Go four, three, nine. Go. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. When they need a play, you usually know who's going to get the ball. Excellent run to put these guys up on top. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. It was an eight-play, 74-yard drive. And it results in a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. And they can forget about returning this one. The Utes and their coaching staff. Looks like they kind of salvaged this first half. It wasn't going good early. No, it was not. In fact, it was sloppy and ugly. They've done a really good job of just kind of sticking to their game plan and putting themselves in a position to be able to be competitive throughout the rest of this game. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback took the ball right on the line. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Utah is going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Here they come. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. They come out in a five-wide set. He's tackling at the 37-yard line. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. And he's going to feel that one tomorrow. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. and he's got his man. That's a great tackle at the 23. That makes it first and 10. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick strike and he drops it. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. This is the ninth play of this drive. Taken down at the 24-yard line. The five has some daylight. Knocked out of bounds around the three-yard line. That makes it first and goal. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. The kick is up, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there where they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. So at the end of the half, good game here, 17-17.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Keith Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And down he goes, around the 34-yard line. Fires out to his receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 44. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Five wide. Four down, four down. Here we go. Watch the eight. Watch the eight. Motion, motion. Reset. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Quick throw. Can't wrap him up. And they push him out at the 36-yard line. First down. He gets to about the 24-yard line. That's a deal of 12. Four down, four that down, makes it first and 10. Check back 45. Check back 45. Check 36. Check 36. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a deal of 7. Four down, four down. That'll bring up second and 3. I've tracked that as alert time. And alert 3. Alert 3. The five, touchdown, Ukes. And he hits the PAT. A seven play, 75 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 24 17. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Bring him down at the 35. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Tackle at the 48. <laughs> Thank you. 
Throws to the tailback, incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Right down the twenty seven yard line. Out of bounds, right around the 24-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Stop at about the three yard line. We've got second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. Put everyone up on the line. They'll knock him down for a loss. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, either one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute, put points up. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Utah is up four. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's tackled at the 37. That makes it first and 10. ten. They come out on an empty backfield. Out of bounds, right around the 42-yard line. And they get five yards from that completion. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. To that quickly, and he's taken down at the 41. That's a good 17. Man left, man left. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. They'll 
bring him down for a loss on the play. Down to the 31. Looking for the corner. They pick up at the most four yards on the screen play. And I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. Kicks up, and it's good! They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Utes' plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it as well as we've seen it. Yeah, they're running the football. These backs seem to be hitting the holes just at the right time. And how about the offensive line? Just opening up some nice holes, just doing what this offense needs to do to be successful. The ball pops free. And I think one of the big guys fell on it for the defense. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And great awareness by the defense to jump on. They picked up three points on their last possession. And they've got great field position to work from here. Utah is up by a touchdown. And he hits him hard at the 30-yard line. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Slings it. Tackle made at the 15-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice gain. That's three down and one to go. The Utes with a touchdown lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. It's up, and the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Throws it in a hurry. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. Make it 
second and seven. Seven to Mike. Mike. Easy, hey, two. Easy. Hey. He's got it with room to run. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. Slam pattern, good for about eight yards on the play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They come out in a five wide set. Steps out of bounds at the 33. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Across the middle, tight end's got it. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. And down he goes at the 16-yard line. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Check, check. There's a strike complete. Big play, and it's first and goal. Just under three to go in regulation. Hey, kill, kill. He goes out of bounds. Around the six-yard line. I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Fires quickly, touchdown! The draw within a field goal. And he converts the extra point. So a 13-play, 73-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A score here might effectively end this one. Second, Second and one. one. Go! Check, check! Disco Raver! Disco Raver! Shot! bring the quarterback down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. This senior quarterback's having a great game, Kirk. Well, Brad, you just said it. He's a senior quarterback, and that experience is so important. It allows you to just sit back and comfortably read the defenses and then eventually find the man that's open and deliver the football. 
Well, it's time to show how mentally tough he is now. Can he lead them to a winning drive here? They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. He steps out around the 37-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Quick strike, and he drops it. Second and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. Throws complete. He's got space to work. They'll bring him down at about the 45. That'll be a gain of five. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it. And they keep moving the defense back. Once and all, going deep. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Dead to it. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Here's the eighth play of the series. They'll spread the field with five wide. Catches it, and that's all. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. They're about four yards away here on second down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. This is the 10th play of the drive. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. We have less than a minute to go. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's 
all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Utah's plan today was to keep it in his hands. He has come through for him to this point, and now he's got a chance to maybe ice it. Yep, they're going to try to find a way to get him the football in space. It's going to be up to the defense to have at least two defenders near him to prevent that big play. It's going to be exciting to see how this game finishes up. He wants it all. Great catch, and he's out of bounds. That's a team for the team. First down. First down. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. They come out on an empty backfield. And he just gets rid of it. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He wants it all going long. And it's a whole new ball game. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT with a three-play, 75-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. And they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. Man, hang on to your hats, folks, because both these offenses are in gear right now. Well, the way these guys are executing right now, it could come down to just which defense can come up with one stop. This is what you dream about, situations like this. You've got the football, you're behind, but if you take the lead, it could mean a win. Fires it out. Tackle at the 42. From the 42-yard line, that makes it second, second down. Mike seven. They come out in a five-wide set. Green nine, green nine. Blue 20. He might not be able to get the pass off. He heaves it to the end zone. This one will fall incomplete. So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. Utah 37, Oklahoma State 34. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.